Since 2014, Elon Musk has made bold claims that fully autonomous Teslas were just around the corner. Next year, he'd say, sparking excitement, headlines, and high expectations, sending Tesla stock value through the roof. But here we are, a full decade later, and we're still waiting for, you guessed it, next year. With each new promise, the dream of full self-driving seems closer, yet somehow remains just out of reach. So what happened? Was Elon too optimistic, or is this just the cost of dreaming big? Let's take a journey through the timeline of Musk's decade-long promises and where things stand today. Please hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying the video, a simple action that really helps the channel. Is the future of the auto industry autonomous? Are these things really going to be a reality? The Tesla car next year will probably be 90% capable of autopilot. Like, so 90% of your miles could be on auto. You know, for sure highway uh, travel. Um, so, we're probably only a month away from having uh, autonomous driving, at least for highways and for relatively simple roads. Um, I mean, my guess for when we will have full autonomy is about three years. Three years? Approximately three years. If you think about fully autonomous vehicles, um, which have passed through regulatory approvals, have passed through in-city driving and traffic conditions. How far do you think, from a time frame perspective, we are for that hap that becoming reality? Particularly highways that are um, that that have barriers, so that you you don't have pedestrians. That's also relatively easy. And uh, like a Model S and Model X, at this point, uh, can drive autonomously with greater safety than a person. Right now. Yeah. Wow. My, my, my point is, when does it get to be where you don't need to be sitting behind a vehicle? I can have my 75-year-old mother, who doesn't speak any English, who doesn't drive, um, be able to be transported from point A to point B by just sitting in a car by herself and being taken. I, I think we're basically um, less than two years away from complete autonomy. Um, I think the, we're still on track for being able to go um, cross-country from LA to New York by the end of the year, fully autonomous. Um, and okay, so, so, so a car, by the end of the year, you're saying yeah. someone's going to sit in a Tesla without touching the steering wheel, tap in New York, mm -hmm. off it goes, yeah. won't have to ever touch the wheel by the end of 2017. Yeah, essentially. November or December of this year, we should be able to go from, yeah, all the way from a parking lot in California to a parking lot in New York. No controls touched at any point during the entire journey. We'll see this also with, uh, with self-driving. Uh, I think probably by end of next year, self-driving will, will encompass essentially all modes of driving and be at least 100 to 200 um, percent safer than a person by the end of next year. We're talking like maybe 18 months from now. Federal investigators say they forced Tesla out of a probe of a deadly crash in California. A driver using the electric car maker's autopilot system died after crashing into a highway barrier last month. Was there a defect with the system? The system worked as described, which is that it's a hands-on system. It is not um, a self-driving system. Three steps to self-driving is being feature complete. Then there's being feature complete to the degree that where we think that the person in the car does not need to pay attention. And then there's being at a reliability level where we've also convinced regulators that is true. So the fact that a, a human may, some percent of the population may uh, exhibit a vigilance decrement will not affect the overall statistics numbers of safety. No, in fact, I think it, it will become uh, very, very quickly, maybe even towards the end of this year, but I'd say I'd be shocked if it's not next year at the latest, that um, having the person, having a human intervene will decrease safety. So it's got like, there's three levels. We expect to be feature complete in self-driving this year, and we expect to be confident enough from our standpoint to say that w we think people do not need to touch the wheel, look out of the window sometime probably around, I don't know, second quarter of next year. And then we start to expect to get regulatory approval, at least in some jurisdictions, for that towards the end of next year. We're going to do the robo-taxi thing too. Only criticism, and it's a fair one, and sometimes I'm not on time, but I get it done. The fundamental message that consumers should be taking today is that it's financially insane to buy anything other than a Tesla. 
They were like owning a horse in three years. I'm extremely confident uh, of achieving full autonomy uh, and, and releasing it to the Tesla customer base uh, next year. And we are discussing level five autonomy, so really yes. full autonomy. Will yes. you? Based on your current understanding, how hard do you think this this full self-driving problem, when do you think Tesla will solve level four FSD? I mean, it's looking quite likely that it will be next year. How hard is it as a problem to solve? Because you've made predictions in the past about autonomy. Um, you know, some of those haven't come to fruition at the same time. Has your understanding of the problem of autonomy changed over the last few years? Uh, yes, the, I would say that self-driving is one of those things where you think you're getting there, but then you end up asymptoting. Um, your, your, your progress is initially linear and then and then looks logarithmic and sort of tapers off. Now at this point, I think we are no longer in uh, trapped in a local maximum. And it appears, my best guess, is that we'll, we will get there this year. I think I think Tesla will have sort of a chat GPT moment. Maybe the, if, if not this year, I'd say no later than next year. Um, Wait, say that again. I'm sorry. You're, you're going to have a sort, of, a sort of chat GPT moment. Oh, you will in terms of suddenly it will. Yeah, suddenly three million cars will be able to drive themselves right. with no one. Right. It goes back to that. It, we'll move from supervised full self-driving to un, unsupervised full self-driving where the car, you could, you could fall asleep and wake up at your destination. You can think of it like individualized mass transit. We do expect actually to, st to start uh, fully autonomous, uh, unsupervised FSD uh, in Texas and California next year. That, that's obviously, that's with the Model 3 and Model Y. We, we expect to be in production with the, the CyberCap uh, in probably, well, I tend to be a little optimistic with time frames. Um, but but in, to, in, in 2026. Before 2027, let me put it that way. Now watch this disturbing video. This Tesla driver appears to be sleeping while driving in Los Angeles. Four people are dead tonight after an electric vehicle crashed and burst into flames along the lakeshore. Flames were shooting six feet into the air as a group of men were trying to break the windows on the burning Tesla. Walnut Creek, California. A Tesla was obliterated on Saturday and the driver killed after plowing right into a fire truck. The day before in faraway China, an out of control Tesla drives across a bridge and through an intersection before crashing into a bus killing the driver. I hope you found this video informative. What do you think the future of autonomy holds? Leave a comment below and thanks for watching.